everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new hi hello my name is Loey and today I'm gonna do a makeup tutorial because I have not done one in a really long time I have not actually had a makeup tutorial request in a long long time after my most recent Teletubbies fact video a lot of you guys asked for a makeup tutorial on the look that I was wearing it was very autumn appropriate if I seem a little bit tired it's because I took a nap and I'm waking up with you guys with a cup of coffee and now I'm just gonna get ready so this is like gonna be a more casual makeup tutorial this is just honestly what I've been doing recently like the base of the makeup is kind of my everyday sort of routine and then um, Like the special part is gonna be like the smokiness and the colors and all of that fun stuff You guys will see first and foremost. I am priming using the primed and peachy primer by Too Faced. I Have been obsessed with this and I've been obsessed with more matte skin recently This has such like a pleasant smell and it keeps my makeup on all day. Now I am all primed and it's time to move on to foundation. Um, like I said, I've been preferring more of a matte look, so sometimes I use the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, but I just feel, honestly, if we're being realistic, it's just too heavy for the everyday for me. So I've really been liking the Too Faced Peach Perfect. And you guys may think this is really silly. I have more colors of this, but I'm so close to finishing this one. And I just want to like complete it before I open a new foundation. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know why I'm like this. So I'll literally take two pumps of that. That is the color Light Beige, by the way. And then I'll take Light 44 of Kat Von D Lock It just to lighten it. It doesn't change the consistency very much. It just more so makes it a better color match in my opinion. Um, I think that that matches me a lot better than where it was. So it makes it a little bit moussier and it does give it more coverage. I'm just using a Tarte foundation brush to buff this in. And honestly, I don't think the coverage is too cakey or full, but look at what a difference. So yeah, it doesn't feel like a lot of makeup, but it definitely, definitely covers up everything. For the under eye, I'm going to be using a little bit of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser because I just think it's great, honestly. Then I'm going to highlight using Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer. I have gotten so many concealers, new products, tried a million and ten things in the last few years, and this is still my go-to concealer routine. Then I'm going to blend in using my Beauty Blender, and this is the one that, oh my god, it's like flesh-colored, and so it looks disgusting, but it's just super stained, obviously, so... I'm just gonna blend all of that in. If I'm just getting ready for like day-to-day -day life, I'll usually skip this step, but sometimes I like to contour using this MAC Studio, what is this called? Quick Trick Stick. <laughs> the shade I'm using is called Taut and Tawny. I don't know what my hair is doing. I won't use too much. I'll just kinda pop it where I know I wanna contour. Like I said, on the day today, I'll usually skip this step just because I don't need this much contour. But if I'm on camera, I'll usually take the extra, extra step or two and just contour. I'm going to prime my eyes before I set under the eyes with powder just because sometimes I find this step to be a little bit irritating after I powdered right under the eyes. This is Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin, by the way, and I'll just blend that in using the finger. I'll set off the whole face and recently I've been using this translucent powder from Too Faced. I'm almost out. Is it really sad that one of the things I love most about this powder is how good it smells and tastes? Like as the powder flies around I taste bits of it and it tastes like peaches which is moderately disturbing but also great. How cute is my little chipmunk, by the way? He's adorable. Um, I found out recently that Silk makes an almond milk pumpkin spice latte creamer, and I, I know nothing else now. Moving on, I'm going to do a little bit of additional contour, especially since this side blended out a lot better than this side, so I definitely need to even it out. You can see I didn't take too much precaution with that just because it was a pain in the neck and it didn't matter anyways because I'm just going to go over it with powder. And I grabbed a little bit too much, but it should be okay. 
I'm not gonna lie, my bronzer looks super harsh on camera and I promise you it doesn't look that way in real life. Um, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm hoping that once this is on my computer, it's not gonna look as harsh as it does here, but it looks, it looks super harsh from what I'm seeing. And it, I promise you it doesn't look like that IRL. I've also recently taken to contouring my nose, which I never really used to do. But I started to and now I can't stop. I just feel like not even, it, it doesn't even necessarily change the shape of my nose. I just feel like it balances out the contour. I'm not good at this. I literally guess I just slap on some bronzer, blend it out and call it a day. But I do feel like it, you know, balances out the contour and everything. Something else I only recently started doing and I only really started doing it when I was going to be on camera is I've been contouring additionally, like beyond bronzer. This is from Marc Jacobs. It is the Mirage, Mirage, I can't speak English. It is my only language. Um, light filtering contour powder. And I'll start off with that right under the chin. Because I do have a double chin, I have a rounder face, um, kind of contouring that area really, really, really helps to sharpen the jawline, which always looks a little bit better on camera. Now, whatever is left on the brush, we'll pop it right there at the most outer corners of the cheekbones. Now, I like to spend a minute or two and just sort of blend everything, and sometimes... I'll just use this brush and then sometimes I'll switch to a broader, more fluffy brush. I used to use this as my actual bronzer brush, but I just felt like bronzer got literally everywhere when I did. As long as we're already on the cheeks, I'm just gonna do a little bit of blush. I made this MAC palette, not I made it as in like I formulated it, like I made the individual palette out of colors that I tend to use on a daily basis. This isn't what I'm going to use, but this is honestly my go-to every single day palette. I'll just do something really neutral and light, but I'm going to use this pink blush and I don't know what it's called, but I'll link it down below and like list it and stuff. And I'm just going to pop that right on the cheeks. I'm actually going to take gingerly, which is right above that and just sort of go in with that right on top because it's a little bit pinker than I would like. And I think I may have done this last time too, just mix them together. And I know that looks like a lot of blush. I'll go through and blend that together. I'll also bring this side that I did a little bit of powder on and just brush right over the edges to make it a little bit more toned down. As I've been getting more and more and more and more root recently, I have wanted a slightly deepened and darker brow. So my brow is a little bit more involved than it used to be, not involved like it's a proud parent. Like, I don't know, it just, it, it takes more effort than it did prior. First off, and this may seem really silly, but it's just a bit of a trick. I'll go in to like a cream color, and this is the color I'm gonna use to highlight the brow after the makeup's done and I'll just go right under the brow because otherwise I feel like the brow pomade will sort of stick to sticky areas, i.e. where I primed. From here, the brow is really easy. I take a bit of dip brow on a brush and I literally underline my brow, that's it. After I have the outline done, I will brush it in comb down the top hairs, then line the top of my brow. I'll connect those two lines here at the inner corner with whatever's left on the brush, kind of fill in that more sparse area, and then blend with a spoolie. And that is my brow. Recently though, I have been actually filling it in further and you can see already that's a lot bolder, it's a lot more structured. Um, but I've been going in with this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani brow box thing and I'll take this lighter color, just sort of brush that through the front. I feel like this makes my actual hairs stand out a lot better. Then I'll take the darker color on the tail of the brow. And that is my everyday brow. I look 
crazy now that I have a full face of everything but my eyes when that is like the main focus. I've been using this Just Peachy palette from Too Faced and first I'm going to take the color Peach Tea which is like a really nice subtle mid-tone warm brown and what we're going to do is just go to town with this color. This is everything in this look basically. Um, there's almost no part of the eye that doesn't have this worked in in some capacity. We're going to take it first into the crease, then blend it onto the lid, keeping most of the focus on that outer corner. We're also just going to take that shade right here on the lower lash line, and I'm going to work this almost all the way into the inner corner. Moving into the next color, this is Peach Cobbler from the same palette, obviously. I do most of this look with the same brush. It is the Soft Dome Brush from Makeup Geek. And this time, we're really going to start this in the outer corner. We're going to the crease. Get onto the lid. I will also just take a minute and blend everything with a fluffy brush. Then I'm going to take a little bit of Peach Tart up top and this color chocolate dip down here. Honestly, I'll probably focus more on chocolate dipped and just a bit of that. I'm going to really focus this in the outer corner. Then once that color is placed and I'm happy with it, I'll just blend like crazy. I'm gonna take peach butter and actually I really just like to do this with a finger because I don't like a lot of pigment. I just want something to kind of finish off the eye. I'll just sort of blend that in to meet with the other colors. Then I'll blend where those two colors meet. On the very inner corner as well as the brow bone, I'm gonna use that peach meringue color. So we'll go right under the brow and this will really help to clean up the brow as well. And then right on that inner corner. It's nothing crazy, but it just sort of brightens things up. Totally forgot to record it. I just did a little bit of a liquid eyeliner. For that, I used my Jordana Cat Eye, and I just lightly traced along my upper lash line, no wing or anything. It doesn't so much matter. It's just really there for darkness because I go into the chocolate dipped color and then just a bit into just ripe to make it a little bit more purpley. And I literally trace along the eyeliner. This is a new brush and it's not working for me. With the same colors, I just do a light little wing like so. So you can probably tell just the softened effect that it gives the overall look. What I feel like happens with that method is that instead of like being on top of the whole look, the eyeliner is really blended into everything. I'm going to first highlight the face using this NARS Bonk de Stabile. Sable palette. It is um, this lighter color, which is called Rivage, and then this one is Soleil. I don't, I don't know. And I'll just highlight this. Um, my methods of highlighting have probably changed a bit since the last makeup tutorial you guys watched from me. So instead of going right here in the center of the forehead, I don't really like that look. I'll go right here above the brow. So it's more like I really focus it in this area. I'll bring it up into the temple kind of bring it down onto the cheek just for a little bit of brightness. And then right here above the brow. I'll also take some down the nose. Keep his bow in here at the chin. You guys probably thought these ogre ears would never see the light of day after my fat girl Halloween dress code, but they're gonna keep my hair out of my face while I set off my makeup. First off, I like to use the Hangover 3-in-1 because this is a more matte makeup look. I have very dry skin. I feel like this makes it just a bit more comfortable for me, and then I'm gonna finish off everything, everything with All Nighter from Urban Decay. And then I wait for that to dry down. I'm gonna apply mascara, and recently I've been using the Dior Iconic Overcurl Mask. I can't take myself seriously, but <laughs> they're saying. You could obviously do falsies, but if we're being quite honest, I, I don't know. Like, I don't really like wearing false lashes when I have a bit of a wing. I feel like the false lashes take away from the wing, and the wing, like, naturally gives my eyes a bit of a shape and a little bit of lift, and... False lashes just, they, they give a different effect for me. They make my eyes rounder, and I don't know. I don't know. 
So I'm just gonna use mascara. I did line my lips with Whirl Lip Liner, but before I finish that off, I almost forgot. I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Costa Riche Eyeliner. It's the perfect warm, ready, brown kind of eyeliner. Trying so hard not to poke myself, but like look at how much that adds to the eyes. It completely changes the game. In the video that everyone was requesting this look from, I was wearing lower lash line mascara, but honestly, I prefer the way that I look with just top mascara. I feel like it just opens my eyes more. Everyone was asking about the lip color in the video, and it does require two products. The first one is Love Bite Liquid Lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. I moved the guinea pigs back to my office because I I can't with them. They're just so much fun and I love like hearing them talk whenever I come in here and I'm in here so much. I just, I wanted more time to be around them. I did have them in my room. My room is also weirdly like the coldest room in the house. So the piggies are back down here. I'm going to top it off using Festival Liquid Lipstick from Tarte and this is just to kind of tone down how dark it is. So I just dab. Imagine if I just left it like that. <laughs> is it sad that the other reason I honestly wanted to move them in here is I always hear so many noises in this room I can't account for and I want something to blame it on. Oh, hi. You're very cute, Chunk. This is the artist formerly known as Lily and the artist currently known as Chunk. But you guys, that is it for this get ready with me. I just wanna thank you guys so much for actually requesting the makeup tutorial. It honestly made me feel really happy. Um, I stopped doing makeup videos a while ago because I felt like no one was really interested in them. And having so many people ask for this just made me feel, I don't know, it made me feel like you guys actually wanted it and that made me really happy. So please, please, please take a moment to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.